All right, case four. Okay, that looks like a seborrheic keratosis. Good. Um, I see a lot of squ uh, kind of like squamous eddy, so maybe irritated. Yeah, good. It's a perfect acanthotic lesion of bland keratinocytes with nice horn pseudocysts, so it's a seb. And when you get a seb plus the nice swirly, whirly squamous eddies, then that's what you call an irritated seborrheic keratosis. And these have a lot of overlap with what other lesion that looks a lot like this. Uh, inverted follicular keratosis. Yeah, IFK, inverted follicular keratosis looks a lot to me. They're probably either closely related on a spectrum with one another. It's like a IF, uh, an irritated seb that's just grown and bulged downward into a hair follicle. Then that's what an inverted follicular keratosis is. They have these same swirled, whirled squamous eddies. And people often ask, you know, like, and I guess it's more of a beginner question, but maybe no one's explained it, that, you know, horn pseudocysts are in the epidermis and have loose flaky keratin, and they're characteristic of seborrheic keratosis. Squamous eddies are also in the epidermis or within an epidermal-based lesion, and they're made of actual viable living keratinocytes that are swirled and whirled together into a little glassy uh, nodule. And then squamous uh, keratin pearls are going to be in the dermis usually, and they're associated with squamous cell carcinoma. And they're going to either be, sometimes they start to look like this, but they're like sitting down actually in the dermis because they're invasive in the dermis. And then they begin to build up a little whirl of parakeratin rather than this loose flaky stuff. And so that's what a, a, a keratin pearl looks like. I don't have any of those to show you today, but you've seen them many times in squamous cell carcinoma. So those are three um, different whirls of keratinocytes or keratin uh, that are kind of circular and that people sometimes get confused about because the names um, the names are different, but they all kind of involve whirling and swirling keratin and keratinocytes. So good job. Irritated seborrheic keratosis.